Hello everybody and welcome back to another blind let's watch of something random from this fandom. Um, or actually no, this wasn't made by the fandom, was it? No, it wasn't. It was made for the fandom though. Um, today we are watching, well as you can see in the title page, um, uh, Starscream vs. Rainbow Dash Death Battle. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, this is interesting. I've seen a few death battles before, but I never really got into it, and that was well before uh, this one was made, so that's why I don't know about it until just recently when it was highly requested for me to do it. So, uh, who do I think is going to win? Honestly, I think... Mm, if they mean, like, the Starscream from, like, the movies and everything, I think he's gonna win. If they mean Starscream from, like, the old cartoons, he's gonna lose, because he's a dumbass, from what I can remember. So, yeah, my bets are on Starscream, unless it's that Starscream, then my bets are on Rainbow Dash. But, let's get this started, shall we? Three, two, one, play. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Gamefly. Death Battle Television has been used to market toys to boys and girls for generations Indeed. Ranging from G.I. Joe to Barbie and Transformers to My Little Pony Are we yep. really doing this? Yes Yes, yes we are that was right, an amazing well, picture. Starscream from the first generation Decepticons and oh, yep. Dash of the G4 Pegasus ponies. He's with and I'm I know exactly how this is going to go. It's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Uh, I'm betting on Rainbow Dash now. Starscream is the air commander of the Decepticon battle fleet. He constantly seeks power and often attempts to usurp Megatron's leadership of the Decepticons with little success. He has two right. forms, giant robot and jet. His robot in. form is primarily meant for ground travel, though it can fly short distances. That's this form's weaponry a lot of weaponry. consists of cluster bombs, missiles, machine guns, and his trademark null ray, a laser that shuts down anything that uses electricity. He can transform into an F-15 Eagle, a twin-engine all-weather fighter jet with top speeds reaching Mach 2.8, oh nearly three That's times really the fast. speed That's really fast. Sound. <laughs> in jet form, he can fire three different types of homing missiles, from short-range sidewinders to long-range slammers. And if those don't do the trick, he's equipped with an M61A1 Vulcan Gatling gun that fires 20 mm. millimeter ammo That's at 6,000 rounds per minute. Fun if he can fact, land any of it. Great for hunting. Starscream is a coward and uses cheap tactics, so often shooting his opponent in the back. However, his deadliest weapon is arguably his silver tongue. While and he is right, not won't the strongest do anything. Decepticon, he is a clever and deceiving speaker However, who can worm his way silver into tongue will probably positions. Do Despite something. this, he is a terrible strategist. Most of his plans instantly go wrong. Like when he took over yeah. the Decepticons because Megatron had a sore throat. What? I don't remember that. Although it was a long time since I've watched this. It was short-lived. And yet his persistence paid off, and he was eventually crowned leader of the Decepticon oh? faction. Again, short-lived. Starscream was king for a whopping 20 seconds, a personal record. <laughs> However, after his death, Starscream discovered that his spark, or life force, was somehow indestructible. And a good oh. thing too, because Whoa. since then he's been dying nearly hmm. every episode. His ghostly spark can possess How do you machinery. win then? He has taken over several other Transformers, robots, and even a cybernetic schoolgirl while she was using the bathroom. What? Unfortunately, his poor knowledge of human society led him to forget to pull up the girl's underwear, oh, making geez. him the last stock of the school. Props to you, Japan. I didn't see that one coming. Me either. Idiot star scream. Well. Rainbow oh, yeah. Dash is a Here Pegasus pony That's from Equestria, nice the magical land of ponies. <laughs> He's already grunting. School, Rainbow found a job in Ponyville as weatherman. Uh, get she used is a to strong, it, man. agile flyer with Gonna great be part of the internet for a long time. She can smash through trees and solid rock and get right back up. Black Belt and she Karate, is also training about that. to join the Wonderbolts, a superb team of flyers who are kind of like the Blue Angels. Except they're, they're ponies. ponies. She is I knew also he was going to say something like that. How does a pony learn karate, let alone master it? 
I don't As know. As a Pegasus pony, Rainbow can control huh. weather. She can use the clouds in the sky to manipulate lightning strikes or precipitation. Also, she can create and control giant tornadoes. She's also got some other moves, like the Buccaneer Blades, oh, yes. which apparently Buccaneer is Blades. so amazing it can't be shown on screen. And somehow it creates a huge explosion. Rainbow often brags the that she's the dry. fastest in the world. And you know what? She's right. Really? By calculations according to this guy, Rainbow oh, can geez. fly five times the speed of sound oh, with these. He actually did the this math on it? Through the mock five times? Jesus. Rainbow, which indicates she has huh. broken the sound barrier. And the huh. angle of which proves she can reach up to Mach 5 speeds. This is a pony. A baby horse girl toy. <laughs> Why is it so awesome? And upon <laughs> reaching Mach 5, she enters hypersonic oh, speeds man. to create the sonic rain boom. With this, her speed doubles Still instantaneously looks pretty cool. to Mach 5. Holy 10, shit. And somehow, the resulting sonic boom completely shatters 76, the visible light. Not to mention, the sonic boom the itself fuck? is apparently strong enough to split solid rock and shake entire mountains. Rainbow wow. is brash, athletic, and extremely I knew she was fast. I didn't know she was that loyal, fast. She sometimes cheats to get her way. Way. Holy. Well, let's make it fight a giant robot. Yeah! Wow. All right, the combatants That's... are set. Let's end this debate once Jeez, and the for more all. you know. But first, apparently all of you haven't signed up for your free trial of Gamefly yet. So we have to tell you about it again. Gamefly is the largest online uh, video yes. game advertisement. It offers you over 7,000 titles across all consoles and handhelds. Plans start at $15.95 a month. Members can oh, rent geez, one this to is four old. Time Just by the games that are available on there right now. No due dates and free shipping. <laughs> and if you like the game enough, you can buy it for a discounted price. Everyone go to Gamefly.com forward slash death battle and get 15 free days of games. But Sounds right nice, now, but that's not, why, that's not why I'm here. Challenge the mighty star scream. A mighty pony. <laughs> nice Fight. epic entry. Fight. <laughs> pony, I'll crush you in an instant. Don't be so sure. To be annihilated. You, you have to catch her. That's it. I am going to kill you. Tag, you're it. <laughs> this would be something she'd do. Wow, what a bad shot. Oh man, it hurts. She could probably easily dodge them if there were better shots. Alright. Don't move. Lost it. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> That's from the uh episode with that You're bird of Celestia's. Alright. Uh, I can't remember. Philomena. Is that it? I think so. Are you? Show yourself! The Phoenix. I saw Derpy there, by the way. Don't think I missed her. Oh! Oh, that was just a no, right? Alright. It is off. That is Rarity's line. Oh yeah, that's a smart thing, you know, transforming into a fighter jet in the middle of a goddamn vortex. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. Oh, this is I'll join the herd. <laughs> nice. Oh, but this is where the silver tongue comes in. Target, stupid well, pony. I don't know. I mean, I know Use it's everything. Like Hollywood, but... Destroy happiness wait. in progress. Defeat Megatron Calculator. <laughs> That's a lot of missiles. Silence. I'd probably step to the side just a little bit, man. I think you're about to get plowed in the face. Yeah, just slightly, slightly to the left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or just hang your mouth with you, a jar like that. Whatever. Oh, ooh. Damn, I don't know what she used there, but cracked him. Was it like a sonic brain boom hit into a fucking ear blaze? Yeah, how's she gonna beat him now? Oh my god, really? Really? <laughs> That's how it ends? 
Get all down. Wow. Pony is a monster. Rainbow's speed really? and agility were more than a match for the clumsy star screen. And it doesn't Jeez. help that his aim is even worse than a stormtrooper's. Not to mention the null ray is designed to destroy oh, man. Like <laughs> That's funny. not living ponies. She just ate a trip. <laughs> Tell me yes, about it. And while Rainbow might experience some mild indigestion, mild star indigestion. Not See, he's indestructible, but not to a pony's soon. stomach. Well, she put the pony in pony. The winner is Rainbow Dash. Nice job. Next time, on Ooh, next time, I guess we get to see. Oh, I know that music anywhere. That's good old Master Chief. Oh man, now I want to watch it. Cause I know it's out. Master Chief is pretty hey, epic. You got an idea for a dub battle? Leave it in I the don't. comments below. And remember, I won't. the next episode is the last one featured on YouTube and Revision Three before I remember that battle that. goes exclusive to the new ScrewAttack.com, which is now live. So go check it out. All right. Also, a big oh. thanks to Zach Wilson, okay. Erica Mendez, and Jim They're not Sterling done talking. for lending their voices to the episode. Thanks for watching. Thank you. I mean, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh I have to say thanks because I'm Canadian. That's just how I work. Anyway, that was, that went the way I thought it was going to go, but yeah, that was n nice. It was good. Uh, not much else to say, uh, except for Starscream got his ass kicked. I don't know how she blew him up like that. Did she just, like, hit him with the speed of the Sonic Green Booms and then just Buccaneer blazed him because, you know, it's never shown on screen? I don't know. That's probably not what happened. It was probably just a force of the rain boom. Or I could be completely right. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, or any who, um, that was Starscream vs. Rainbow Dash uh, Death Battle. I hope you all enjoyed and are ready for the next video that will be out very soon. See ya!